Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question. Can we write expressions on presence constraints? If yes, how would you do that in SSIS package? So first of all, what are presence constraints? Presence constraints are the links that we use between our executables, uh, task, and uh, containers in the control flow. So let me show you how it works. So we have a SSDT or bids, open it, create a new package. And here, in my case, I have a data flow task here. So if I will bring another data flow task here, and then connect uh, these two data uh, data flow task uh, the green line i'm connecting is called presence constraint uh, this one has three different values uh, so when it is green uh, it means the uh, first one has to be completed successfully and then next one will run if uh, double, we double click on that one we have we can see the values we can see failure the f in this case when we did set to failure that means uh, the first one has to be failed uh, to run the second one and then uh, the last one we have here is called completion it is kind of green uh, blue so it means uh, the first test has to be complete it doesn't matter it is successful or uh, fail uh, as long as it is complete the next test will run so that's how we control the flow of our executables in the control flow of a package now our question is can we write expressions uh, on these presence constraint yes we can write so here right now it's called evaluation operation that's only set to the constraint so there are four uh, uh, total of them so we can write only expressions in that case it will only uh, uh, see the expressions uh, and if the expressions are true then it will run the next next task and we can set to the expression and constraint together so in that case expression has to be successful as well as the constraint uh, like success failure or, or completion has to be uh, evaluated true as well in this case the last one is uh, the expression or constraint that means one of them has to be successful to run the next task let's go back and set to the um, hold on one second let's go to the package and see what we have here in the first data flow what I'm doing uh, I'm loading the data I'm extracting the data from two sources merging them and then saving the record count in the record count variable by using the row count transformation so what I'm saying here, I want to run this uh, uh, data flow task, that is uh, data flow task 1, only if uh, record count is greater than 5. So how I can do it? And uh, I want to the data flow task, uh, that's the first task, to be successful and record count should be more than 5. That's the only situation when I want to run uh, the second data flow. So double click here. And then here we can go to the expression and constraints and we can write our constraints here uh, sorry expressions here now I'm saying is equal to equal to uh, sorry is greater than and equal to 5 so that's my condition if a record count from the uh, from the data flow 1 is uh, um, that no, I will not say data flow 1 because data flow 1 is the second uh, mm, that's the kind of name of data flow so if uh, the data flow the very first data flow um, that uh, has a record count uh, more than 5 or equal to 5 then I want to run the second data flow evaluate hit ok so I'm gonna call this one the DFT first just not to confuse with DFT second so in the, in the first uh, we are populating the record count uh, in the variable called record count and here we wrote the expressions uh, so this first one has to be completed as well as the record count has to be greater than or equal to 5 to run the second one let's run it and see if it runs fine as we can see that the second ran successful what is the record count so let's go back and see here we have record count 12 that's why the second run successful let's go back and change this one so we want to make sure the things work fine in this case we want to say is greater than 12 uh, e greater than equal to 13 so in this case now this second data flow should not run because our expressions are not going to be evaluated true 
as you can see that the first one ran fine but it didn't go to second because of the expressions we write so that's how you can write the expressions on the presence constraints i have uh, ssis uh, videos where i load the files and uh, load the file multiple sql server tables by using the file name and i use a lot of presence constraint to extract the file name and compare it and move the data according to the file name in different tables so you can take a look thanks very much for watching this video and uh, i will see you next video